warning potential spoilers ahead of the end of Marvel's Avengers Infinity War, half the universe D when Thanos snapped his fingers in the Infinity Gauntlet, and while all hope looks lost in the Avengers Endgame trailer, Marvel fans know that somehow the dead will be resurrected. After all, Spider-Man Far From Home, set after Endgame, is released in July, as are other sequels for dead characters. Now considering Ant-Man's entrance in the Endgame trailer, plus the plot of Infinity War, here's our best theory of how the film will go down. First off, we need to consider the film's title, Avengers Endgame. In Avengers Infinity War, Doctor Strange handed over the Time Stone to Thanos in exchange for Tony Stark's life. Iron Man asked him why he did it and the Sorcerer Supreme simply replied, We're in the end game now. Clearly, Doctor Strange knows exactly what he's doing. Earlier in the film, the wizard used the Time Stone to essentially watch Avengers Endgame, the only possible future, of 14,605 realities, in which Thanos is defeated. So clearly to implement this victory, Doctor Strange knew Thanos had to succeed with the snap, hence why he willingly handed over the Time Stone. After the snap, just before Doctor Strange turns to dust he says to Tony, there was no other way. Now consider Ant-Man's entrance at the end of the Endgame trailer, he's clearly the key to defeating Thanos. The last time we saw Scott Lang he was trapped in the Quantum Realm in the Ant-Man and the Wasp mid credits scene when the Pym family turned to dust. Ant-Man has somehow escaped, presumably through one of the time vortexes mentioned by Janet Van Dyne. Notice as well in the Endgame trailer, Scott has arrived at the Avengers HQ in the same track from Ant-Man and the Wasp that contained the quantum tunnel. However, if the Avengers are going to reverse the snap, they're going to need to us the quantum realm for sure. So here's how we think Avengers and game will go down. Tony Stark and Nebula, who looked pretty helpless in the end game trailer, will be rescued from starvation in space by Captain Marvel, responding to Nick Fury's distress call in the Avengers Infinity War post credits scene. The surviving Avengers, as seen in leaked concept art, will gather at the HQ and get fitted up into quantum realm suits. The plan will be to use the time vortexes in the quantum realm to travel back in time through the last 10 years of MCU movies. What better way to celebrate the saga so far? Dash and collect the Infinity Stones before Thanos does an Avengers Infinity War. After all, set photos seem to imply the revisiting of previous movies and rumors allege the return of characters like the Ancient One, Peggy Carter and Thor's X-Chain. Plus, did you notice Steve Rogers was wearing his Captain America, the Winter Soldier costume in the Endgame trailer. As the Avengers collect the first gem in the past, Thanos, at home on Titan 2, We'll see an Infinity Stone disappear from the Infinity Gauntlet, and set off to stop them. While 5 out of 6 of the Infinity Stones have turned up in previous MCU movies, the Soul Stone's location was only revealed in Avengers Infinity War. This means the Avengers will need to go to Vorm to obtain the gem before Thanos arrived with Game Wa'ura. Now, considering Thanos had to sacrifice Game Wa'ura to get the stone, which is presumably where the souls of the dead are housed. The Avengers will have to do the same, with no sign of Tony Stark in Spider-Man Far From Home. It looks like Iron Man will have to. This would also time with how Doctor Strange exchanged his life for the Time Stone. Tony needs to later on, not then. Just how fitting would it be for Tony Stark to ask Steve Rogers, after all the conflict they've been through in Civil War, to push him the one he loves, into the cavern below, sacrificing himself to resurrect those who perished in the snap. That would be the perfect end to Iron Man's character arc, as the franchise's figurehead takes on a messianic role to save the MCU's future. As for Captain America, it's only fitting that he's returned to his own time so he can finally have that dance with Peggy and live the life with her he always wanted. Avengers Endgame is released in UK cinemas on April 26, 2000.